Okay, good day. So today we are looking at a simple and uh, compound decay. So this is grade 11 work now. So, but as for the grade 11, so you need also to check, uh, what is it, to look at finance one and finance two for grade 10 is also assist you, okay? Because now um, I'm not gonna repeat uh, what you call, what I've taught in that, uh, in those classes, okay? Now, um, we are looking at the simple interest, I would call a uh, compound decay. Now, what happens is that, when, once you purchase something, uh, like let's say you purchase a car, once you leave the garage where you bought the car, your car start to depreciate. So it's a start to lose the value. Let's say you bought it for 500,000. Once you leave the gate, even if you try to come back and sell it, it won't be still 500,000. It will be costing less than that. So that's why you say, what would you never say that? Uh, uh, what called items? Uh, what called decrease in value and this that decrease we call it a uh, depreciation okay now we have two types of uh, depreciation we have what called straight line depreciation and also depreciation by reducing only reducing the balance on the reducing balance it will be following a compound formula then uh on the what call uh, on the straight line value is following as uh, the simple uh interest formula so this is a simple depreciation with the simple interest formula then Compound interest formula, it will be actually, uh, what is it, um, uh, uh, compound, uh, what called reducing balance depreciation. Now, once an object, uh, what call, once it depreciates, when you are selling it now, the value of it after depreciation, we call it book value. We call it book value. So book value is the value of an item after depreciation. Now, let's give an example here. A computer is purchased for 16,000. It depreciates at 15% per annum. Calculate the book value of the computer after three years on each case. So we are using uh, what we're going to apply, uh, what is it, uh, the, the simple depreciation and also uh, uh, reducing balance uh, depreciation, straight line depreciation. So when they say straight line depreciation, that's your, your simple depreciation. When they say reducing balance, that's your compound depreciation. Now, so we see that the computer is purchased for 16,000, depreciating at 15% per annum. So it's per year. Now, when the book value after three years. Now, what do we need here? We are saying we have, we are given the formula. So you always write the formula, guys. Write the formula. You also get a mark for your formula. So your formula is A is equal to P, uh, one minus I N. Then your A, we have it. Uh, you, you will need A. Then P, we are given the 16,000. Then I, we are given also, it's 15%, 15 of 100, N is three. Now we're just gonna input those values. P is 16,000. We are not doing much of work here one minus what is our i it's 15 over 100 then times what what is our n is three we're not doing much of work here then let's see the calculator and see what we get there so it's kissing thousand put in the calculator one minus 15 over 100 times three we close that what do we get we get eight thousand eight hundred Understand something here, guys. You must know that your, your value that you get on depreciation, it must be less than the uh, accumulated amount. Okay, it must be less. So here, our P is less. So here, our A, we are going to say P is what? 16,000. What is our I? One plus, what is our I? 15%, 15 over 100. What is our N? Three, okay? Let's put in and see what we get. 16,000. We put in the bracket one plus 15 over 100. We put that also in bracket to the power of three. Then what do we get? Sorry, sorry, sorry. The power of three, what do we get here? We get 24,000. There's something wrong here. We can get more. We need to get less. Like I just said now, I made a mistake here. I put a positive instead of a negative, okay? So, did you see the alarm? The alarm is the value that I got, 24,000 from, uh, uh, from uh, 16,000. I'm seeing that my, the value is abound. So it must worry me because it's depreciating. So it must be 9,826. So this is how you also, so you must always be our call on the question, be included in the questions so that if it doesn't make sense, you must actually, uh, it must be an alum and you can't just write 24,000 because that's what you're getting on the calculator, but you must think of, no, it's depreciating, I must get a less value. Now let's move on to the next question. He's saying the value of a, a piece of equipment depreciates from 10,000 
to 5,000 in four years. What is the rate of depreciation on each case? Now, we uh, they have different cases here. We've got the straight line depreciation and also compound depreciation. Let's start with that straight line depreciation. A is equal to what? P1 minus IN. What are we given? We are given A. What is A? A, the amount that we start with, the accumulated amount is 5,000. What is P? Is 10,000. What is our N? Is four. What is our I? The one in the question. We are looking for that. Then we're going to divide here. It's going to be A is what? 5,000. So it's good to, to write what is given to you and present it well. Then 5,000 is equal to 10,000. One minus I. What is our I? We don't have it. What is our N? Is three I. Okay, then we divide both sides by 10,000. By 10,000. Then we get one over two there, one half, which is 0, 0,5. We can put it as a comma, it's fine. Then what do we have there is equals to one minus what? Three I. Then we take the one there. If we say 0, 0,5 minus one, we get minus 0, 0,5 is equals to negative three I. Then what do we do? We divide both sides by negative three. So we're gonna say negative 0, 0,5 divided by negative 0, 0,5 divided by a uh, negative three. Let me just let me just change something here. Divided by negative three. I must put that in bracket. What I get here is one over six. 1 over 6 is going to give us a lot of things there. So it's going to be 1i is going to be equals to 0, 0,16666. goes on like that, 6, 7. But we know that what we do, multiply it by 100 to get the actual percent. It's going to be 16,67%. That will get our i. Let's move on to the, to the what is it, uh, compound depletion, which is reducing balance. A is equals to P. 1 plus your i to the power of n. What is our a? It's 5,000. What is our p? It's 10,000. What is our n? It's 4. They put 4 here. What, what happened here? Guys, I'm going to change here. I'm going to change the 3 years, okay? Because I already used 3 years. I can't rub everything. That was a big mistake there that I, uh, that I did. Um, and we don't expect that. So here we're gonna put the three, okay. Now let's move on. So we're gonna move on here and you have three, then our I is the one in question. Now, what do we do now? We're gonna say, all right, what is our A? It's 5,000. I think I've seen that the A is, is less than P because of depreciation, 10,000. One plus I, the power of three. Then we divide both sides by 10,000. Then we get 0, 0,5 here. It's gonna be equal to what? It's gonna be equal to one plus I to the power of three. And I think I have explained, if we check on our lesson uh, finance two, I'm just gonna repeat here for those that didn't listen to that. Now, if we have got X to the power of N is equals to, Maybe let's say four. To find the x, we say x is going to be equals to, we put the root sign, we put the n and four. Simple like that. Okay. Simple like that. We need to stress there. Why are we saying that? Because to remove this, so let me just give an example here. Let's say you are given x to the power of five is equal to 32. To find the x, we're going to say x is going to be equals to fifth root of 32, then what do we get? We get two. I'm not gonna calculate that for you. Now here, what do we have here? We're gonna say one plus your i is gonna be equals to 0, 0,5. We put it the three, so cube root of that. So why do we put it? We're gonna say cube root, shift, cube. But for other things that you, if you're not given, you say shift, you put there, you put your five, you put your 32, then you get your two like this, okay? Then here in this case, you have got cube root, we know it, we have it in the calculator, cube root of what is 0, 
then what do we get? We get 0, 0,9. Zero comma seven nine three seven zero zero five two six. Then we're going to say I is going to be equal to one minus that one minus answer. What do we get? We get zero comma two zero two uh, nine nine what what then. Is approximately equal to, do we say multiply that by 100 to get 20,62%? 20, so here it's kissing percent, yes, 20, 20,62%. And the percentages are close to, are close, and you can actually, I would call, be help with that. Now let's move on. A car depreciates in value by 18%. In, in the first year, determine the initial cost if it is now worth 183,680 after one year. So here, for both of them, our A, we are looking for A here. O A is, is worth now what? Um, a car depreciation value by in the first year, determine the initial cost if is now with so our a is given 83 83 183 680 our p is the one in equation then our n is one our i is 18 over 100 okay now what are we going to do now we are going to say all right for certain depletion we're going to say a which is 183 oh sorry 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 Let's write the formula first. A is equal to P1 minus I N. We are looking for P. P is equals to A over one minus I N. Then what are we going to get? A is what 183,680 over one minus I N, which is what is I N? It's 18 over 100 times one, but this is gonna give us that value. Okay, then you put it here, we say 183,680. Okay, divided by, oh, sorry. We already put it over there. We're gonna say one minus 18 over 100. We close there, what do we get? We get 20, 224,000, 224,000. So this car, this uh, this car was was costing two hundred twenty four thousand. Can you see the decrease there? Depreciation. Now let's move on to the next one. We are going to know that is a is equal to p one minus i the power of n. And here we're looking for p. P is going to be equal to a over one minus i in a bracket the power of n, which is equal to one eighty three thousand uh, six hundred eighty over one minus 18 over 100 to the power of uh, what, what is our N is one. So we don't need to stress about that. So we're gonna say, um, what are we having here? Uh, let's see, it's one, okay. So it's gonna be 183,680 over one minus, I'm gonna put the bracket here, 18 over, 100 to the power of one, which is gonna be the same. So you actually get the same value. You actually get the same value guys, because it's still one year. And remember, is the interest day is still on the same, it's still the same. Remember, if you check with our first lecture of uh, finance one, you see that in the first year, your, your symbol interest and your compound interest uh, are the same. Now here, now what do we have here? The population of a town decreases at a rate of 9,5% uh, per annum because people migrate to the cities. Calculate the decrease in population over a period of six years if initial population was 185,000. So initial population was 185,000. We are now saying what is the decrease? Uh, call it decrease in population. Now, what do we do? We are going to say uh, A is going to be equal to P or one minus what i n then we know that our a is given 
Is it given our A? No, A we're not given. We need to find it. Our P is what? Our population was 185,000. Then our N is what? For, for how many years? Over a period of six years. Six, our I is 9,5 over 100. Then what are we going to do there? We're going to say our A, which we want, our A is going to be, because what is our P? 185,000. One minus, what is our I? 9,5 over 100. What is our N times six? What do we get? 185,000. One minus 9,5 over 100 times six. We close there. What do we get? We get 79,550. So here, the decrease in population. Now, if we are looking for the decrease in population, we want to see how much, how many people have left there. We can say 185,000 minus 79,550. Then what do we get there? 185,000 minus 79,550. We see that it's uh, 105,000. 105,450 people. have left the city, then here our A, our A is equal to what? Our A is equal to, equal to P, one minus I to the power of N, okay? Then we are looking for what you're looking for A, A is gonna be equal to 185,000, one minus, what is our I? 9,5 over 100 to the power of six, okay? Let's see what we get there, 185,000, one minus, 9,5 over 100. We put that in bracket to the power of six. What do we get there? We get one or one six three nine comma six six. But now, what are we going to do now? Uh, what is it? We're gonna say what? We're gonna say um, we're gonna we need to round off there. We can't give it as a decimal because these are number of people. So we can say one or oh, one six six forty six thirty nine plus one forty. Okay. Then what do we have there? We are saying what is the decrease there? It's gonna be one eighty five thousand minus one or oh, one six forty. So we're gonna say. 185,000 minus 101, 640. What do we get? We get 83,360. These are the people that that's left the city. Okay, that's left here. What is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, 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 that's left for town, for cities. Okay, now these are what you get there. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Next uh, chapter there. Now, compound and growth decay. We are looking at what you call effective rate and what you call nominal rate. These are what, what you actually uh, face problem that you face more now in grade 11. Now, effective rate, you need to know that that's your actual interest, okay? That's one that we are used to, the one that we have been using before there yeah, in, in the grade 10 and uh, what called in the first lecture there. Now, Effective rate interest quoted and compound periods are the same. So like 15% per annum compounded annually. It means that your I is what is 0 0.15, your N is one. Then what about nominal rate? Interest quoted and, and, and compounded and compounding periods are different. Meaning to say it's gonna be 15%, 15% in this case here, per annum, per annum compounded monthly, or per annum compounded quarterly, or per annum compounded same annually. So in this case, here we are given different periods. So if it is in that case, your I now will be equals to 0 0.15 over 12, because it's being splitted uh, over 12 months. Then N will be 12. Then this one will be split over four months. Uh, your I now will be 0 
over four, your N will be four, then like goes on like that. Okay, that's what you need to understand. When it's daily, 365 or 0.15 over 365, N is go to what? Uh, 365. Now let's move on to the question now and see if we can understand that. Now, a new house cost uh, 150,000. If inflation is calculated at 18% per annum, compounded a half yearly, what would what would the same house cost in 10 years so here we are still using depreciation inflation or inflation is going to increase isn't it so inflation is going to increase and you're going to say p one plus i to the power of what n we are adding there was inflation remember then we're also using compound method now here our a here is what we are looking for a is what we are looking for then the trick here starts, I is gonna be equals to, what we get there is that it's compounded half yearly. Half yearly is two times a year. How many times a year? Two times a year. It's gonna be 18%. You can put it like this, 18, 18 over 200. Or you can put it as 0 0.18 over two. The 200 is just like when you are saying times two there, because the 100, 18 over 100 times two, we get 200 there. So you can put it like this so that you won't have a problem with it. Then what we, what else do we have? Our N in our N now, since it's 10 years, how many 10 years? 10 years times the two, which will get 20, 20 times. So it's gonna be 20, that's our N. So what do we need now? We need our A, our P is given 150,000 rands. Our A now will be equals to 150,000. One plus, what is our I? 0, 0,18 over two to the power of what? What is our N? 20. Can you see these guys? You need to master these guys. You need to master this very well that, okay, my N have changed because I'm saying how many times a year? Then you're gonna have 150,000 in the bracket, one plus 0, 0,18 over two. Then you put to the power of what 20. Because in a year, same annually, half yearly, we have got two times. It is half a year is two, 20. We're putting 20 there. Then what we have, we get uh 840, and it's in runs, 840,661,62 rands. That's what we are talking about there. Okay, let's move on to the next question. A person wishes to invest 10,000 for five years. He has the following two options. A, an interest rate of 16% per annum, uh, sorry, 16% compounded uh, quarterly, an interest rate 15% compounded monthly. If you were an invest, invest, advi investment advisor, sh show clearly by calculations which option you would recommend uh, for maximum return. So you're investing 10,000. Then what do we know in this investment? We know that in this investment for option A, option A, our A, we want A, we want A, what is our P is 10,000. What is our, what is our N? N is gonna be goes to five times, it's quarter, quarterly is four times, four times. Then monthly is 12 times. Then it's going to be five times four. We're going to give us what, 20. Then uh, in terms of your I, it's going to be because 16, 0, 0,16 over four. Then what do we get there? We're going to say our A is going to be because to, what is our P? P one plus your I to the power of N. What is our P? 10,000, one plus, formula is very important guys. Formula is very important. You must indicate the formula and the power of 20. What do we get? We say 10,000 in bracket one plus, what is our I is 0 0.16 over four. Then we put to the power of 20. Then what do we get there? We get, uh, this is money, 2,000, 21,911,23 rands. Okay, then option B, our A, we are still looking for A, then our N is gonna be goes to, option B now is gonna be goes to 12 times what? Five times 12, five times 12, I think it's 65 times 12, 
to get skist, which is equal to skist. So our n is equal to 12. P, we are having P as 10,000. Then we are looking, our I now is going to be equal to 0, 0,15 over 12. Okay, 0, 0,15 over 12. But remember what I said, you can also write it as 0, 15 over 1200. Okay, then our A is going to be equals to um, P. P, what is our P? P, one plus I, the power of N. I'm, you can see I'm writing formula always. You must also do the same. 10,000, one plus 0, 0,15 over 12 to the power of a uh, ski steam. Then what do we get there? 10,000 in bracket, one plus our I is 0, 0,15 over 12 to the power of sorry, to the power of skisti, then what do we get there? 21,781. Okay, this is what we get. So you've got 21,911, then 21,071 cents. So which one would you recommend? Because you haven't answered the questions, you've shown the calculations, but you haven't answered the question. So as an investor, investment advisor, you would actually recommend option A. So recommended option A. So option A is better, you answered the question. You answered the question. Some of you end here, you do the calculation nicely, but in the end, you're not answering the question, okay? You just do the part of the question, but you didn't answer the whole question, okay? Let's move on to the next question again. Lay, Lay Anne is saving for university and decide to invest your money into saving into a fixed uh, deposit, uh, in, in, into a fixed deposit paying 10% 10, 10 per annum compounded annually. She starts her savings with 1,000, after three years, she deposited another 4,000. A final deposit of 8,000 is made eight years after the initial deposit. Uh, how much money is accumulated in the fixed deposit uh, at the end of what? At the end of uh, uh, 10 years. So here you didn't need to understand the, what you call timelines. Timeline, timeline is very much important. Very much important. I think I've indicated also in lecture uh, in finance two the timeline, that timeline you need to master it. So T is zero. Then what are we having again? What, what happened again here? He deposited, uh, she said with the 1000 after three years. So three years, T3. She deposited that, that 4,000. Then what happens now? A final deposit of 8,000, eight years after T8, then T10. Final, we need 10 years there, it's a total of 10 years. So you find that you've got 1,000 here. Then T3, you have got 4,000. Then T8, you've got 8,000. Then you are told that how much money did accumulated in the, in the account. So what do you see there is that your 1,000 managed to grow for how many years? For 10 years. Your 4,000 managed to grow for seven years your 8,000 money to grow for two years. So N in this case will be two, N will be seven, N here will be what? N here will be 10. So here you are just doing, you are having uh, uh, different uh, amounts that you're depositing at different uh, time intervals. So we are saying, when you're calculating amount, total amount is saying P one plus I N, sorry, I to the power of N, what are we going to do now? We're going to add 1,000, we are saying one plus, what is our I? What is our I? I think I would have indicated there. We are looking for A. Our P is 10,000, sorry. Our P differs now, our P differs. Our P one is 10, is 1,000. Our P two is what? Is, um, is uh, 4,000. Our P three is 8,000. Then what is our N? Our N in this case is, is gonna differ. us. Our N1 is gonna be 10. Our N2 is gonna be seven. Our N3 is gonna be two, okay? 
Then what is our I? Our I is given is throughout is 10%, 10% compounded annually. So it's gonna be 10%, which is 10 over 100. You don't need to stress about that. Then here we are going to say, okay, for the first one, we're going to say what? 1000 plus I, our I is remain the same to the power of what? To the power of N, N1 is 10 plus, we are saying the second installment is 4,000, one plus 10 over 100 to the power of what? Seven plus 8,000 to the power of what? One plus, what is our 10 over 100 to the power of what? To the power of two, because it's after eight years, eight years later. Now here, what are we going to get here? We can punch everything in our calculator. We don't need to stress here. There's not stress guys. 1,000, you must enjoy maths, man. Maths is very easy. You just need to enjoy it. You need to love it uh, and enjoy it. So you must always practice, check every time what you are doing in maths and practice as much as you can. Plus, you must do maybe one question a, a day uh, after, before you sleep, then you know that you're coming all right. Now plus 8,000 in bracket, one plus 10 over 100. We close that bracket, we put the power of what? Two, then we find the final answer is what? 20,068,61. So this is in runs, so we put runs there. So this is how we get the total here, okay? So I hope you guys understand the other method is the way you're supposed to grow this one, 1,000, you can accumulate there, but it's gonna take you much time, okay? It's gonna take you much time. I don't recommend that much. Now, but you can check that in, in, uh, in uh, it should be finance one or finance two, I have indicated that what you're supposed to do there. Now let's move on here with, uh, what is it, with the uh, next question. Michael invest 3,500 in a savings account. The interest rate for the first four years is 8% per annum compounded uh, monthly, okay? Then after the interest rate is changed to 9% per annum, compounded the same annually for the next five years. Determine the amount of money that Michael had in his savings account at the end of this period. So we are saying first four years. So you mean that the total year, end of the period is actually nine years. Because we are told that N, for the first one, first four years. Then they after change for the next nine, five years. So total years here is what is actually nine years. We draw a timeline here. T zero, we have about 3,500. But in the third, we are saying after four years, T four, we see that this one here is actually 8%. Okay, N is four. Now we are saying we grow it up until four years. Then from there, we are saying the, the, it changes. T for the next five years, so up to T9. Then what we have here is that N is five, but our I there is, what do we have here? Our I, our I is changing. It's not, sorry, it's not 8%, uh, eight over, it's not, it's not like that. It's eight over 200, 1200, sorry. Eight over 1200, eight over 1200, or we can say 0, 0,08 over 12. That's our, that's our I there. Then for this one here, it's gonna be equals to eight, over 200 because of same annual is two times or we can say 0, 0,08 over two. That's what we have there. N is five. Then now we know that's what's gonna happen. So we need to find how much will it be at T4, then we increase it again. This one will be our new principle after that. So we're going to say A, A4, accumulated amount is gonna be equal to P, one plus I, the power of N, so we say A for the four years is going to be equals to P is what? 3,500. 3,500, one plus, what is our I? Our I is 0, 0,08 over 
over 12 because it's 12 months, guys, to the power of what? How many years? Four years. is So our N here is 4 times 12, sorry. 4 times 12, which is going to give us what? 30, ah, sorry, 48. 4 times 12 is 48, so it's 48 here. Then our N is 5 times what? Times 2, which is going to be 10 because it's 2 times a year. Then um, here, what are we going to get there? 48. Then what do we get there? Let's see what we get. 3,500 in the bracket, one plus 0, 0,08 over 12 to the power of what? To the power of 48. What do we get there? We get 4814,83. Uh, what is it? 1352. I have a reason for doing this because we, this one becomes our principal now. This becomes our principal for the next five years again. So we start again here for this one year, our P here will be 3,500. But our new P now, we are starting again now. Our new P is this one now. For the next five years. So we are going to say now our A5 year final is gonna be equals to 4,814,831,352. Okay, in bracket one plus, what is our I? Our I is 0, 0,08 over two, okay? To the power of what? What is our N is 10, because we're going to say five times two. Then what do we get there? So when I say times, let's put the bracket there, one plus 0, 0,08 over two. What do we get there? To the power of 10, okay? What do we get? We get 7,127,13 rand. Can you see what, we, what I have done here? Here I have rounded off because that's my final answer. Okay, so to the nearest rand. Oh, they say to the nearest rand. If it is the nearest rand, we are, we are saying to the nearest rand, we are looking here and see, all right, this is below what below uh, 50 cents. So we're gonna have to say it's approximately 7,127, just like that. That's what we have here. That's what we have. So if it's the next round, we look at the next uh, number there and see that 13 cents is not uh, what you call uh, above 50 cents. It could have, if it was above 50 cents, maybe a, a seven seven thousand one hundred twenty-seven comma eight zero we're going to add one year to become eight okay to become 128 okay so i hope you understand that concept there now determine the total uh, interest end over the nine years now the total interest end over the nine years now over the nine years what is the total interest end year we get it by saying what by subtracting uh, the 3000 that we had before so we're just gonna say 2.2 2.2, we're gonna say what? We're gonna say this is 2.1. Then we're gonna say 7,127 minus 3,500. What do we get there? We're gonna get 7,127 minus 3,000, 3,500. What do we get? We get 3,627. That's our interest, okay? Okay, that's how we get it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope you were not, you were not actually seeing here. So we said 7,127 minus our what? Minus our, our initial amount that we started with, okay? Minus our initial amount that we started with, 3,500, okay? That we saved in the account. Anything that accumulated from 3,500 is what we refer to as interest, okay? I hope you guys understand. And this is the end of the lecture. Thank you. So keep on practicing, guys.